Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosanna and today we are refrying beans. Not just any recipe, my personal favorite where we get to cook with pork lard. And I also get to share a couple of tricks that you are going to love. So let's get started. Measure out two cups of pinto beans and take a small amount into your hands and sort through them, removing any bad beans stones or debris i like to place them in a strainer this will make rinsing super easy now take the strainer and place under cold running water and rinse the beans allow them to drain and then transfer to a deep large pot Add 12 cups of water. This may seem like a lot, but we will need the extra liquid later in this recipe. Go ahead and place your beans over high heat and allow it to reach a rolling boil. Once boiling, lower the heat to medium low and cover the pot with the lid sideways, leaving a small opening to allow some of the steam out. Let the beans cook for approximately an hour and a half or until soft. To test if they're done, I take a bean out, blow on it to cool it down, and then press with my fingers. If it feels soft and smashes easily, they are done. Turn off the heat, cover, and set aside until we need them. As mentioned previously, we are frying the beans in pork fat, but we are rendering our own. Yes, you could use store-bought lard, but later on I'll explain why I like to render my own. To remove moisture, start by patting dry 11 ounces of uncured pork belly. This step ensures a crispy end result. Now cut the pork belly into strips. Next, cut each strip in half lengthwise. Lastly, cut across for small bite-sized squares. Place a deep medium pan over medium low heat and add the pork belly. Allow it to render stirring occasionally. After a few minutes, you will start to see it turn a golden color. Go ahead and stir and if needed, cover the pot with the lid halfway. Slightly covering it helps prevent fat from splattering all over. Once the pork belly is crispy and golden brown, turn off the heat and transfer the pieces into a different container and set the fat aside for later use. Take half of a white onion and cut into small pieces. Also mince three garlic cloves and transfer to the same bowl. Now place a large skillet or pan over medium heat and add eight tablespoons of the pork fat. Add in the onion and garlic and caramelize stirring frequently or as needed in order to obtain a uniform color. When caramelizing, we're browning sugars in order to obtain a sweet, nutty flavor that makes a world of a difference in this recipe. It is very important to let the onions cook slowly on medium heat in order to allow enough time for the flavors to develop. Once the onions reach this beautiful brown color, add the beans and the beans only, no liquid. You can use a strainer like the one I'm using or a spoon with holes that allows the liquid to drain. Add all of the beans and give it a quick stir to mix all the ingredients. Now 
Then take a potato smasher and mash the beans. I will leave the link to my favorite smasher down in the description area along with other utensils I'm using in this video. Feel free to check them out. Make sure you leave no bean unsmashed. Smash until creamy, smooth, and broken up. Then carefully pour in two cups of the bean broth and with a spoon, mix everything until well blended. Here is the reason why I render my own fat. I love to add the crispy bits into the beans. Yep, add all of them and stir once again. Now cover with the lid and turn the heat to low and allow the liquid to reduce as the pork develops a softer texture due to the simmering broth. At the same time, the beans will become creamier with a slightly thicker texture. Stir occasionally to ensure the beans do not stick to the bottom of the pan and cover afterwards. Here's the consistency desired, creamy and thick. Time to season, add salt to taste and mix again. Seasoning at the end is important to me because it prevents us from over salting. Also keep in mind that as the beans cool, they will thicken a bit more, so be mindful of that. It's ready and so am I. I couldn't be happier with the outcome. To serve as breakfast, we accompanied this dish with a fried egg, queso fresco, salsa, sour cream, and corn tortillas. I know, we go all out. I'll leave some recipes that will also pair wonderfully down in the description area. You can enjoy this recipe anytime during the day if desired. It's truly amazing. The beans are done, but before we move on to the tasting, I want to invite you to subscribe, go ahead and like this video, and also click the notification bell. Remember that you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Okay, let's make a taco. These smell so good, I promise you. Let's just put some in there. Guys, you can have this for breakfast, lunch, dinner. It is amazing. I'm ready. These beans are so creamy and you can really taste the flavor of the pork and the caramelized onions really make all the flavors come alive. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day.